Now for a story you will only see on Western Mass News. Since our story on the upcoming Northeast Balloon Festival in Northampton aired yesterday, we've received a lot of concerns from viewers about other festivals put on by VAP Events. That's the event group associated with the Northeast Balloon Festival. Western Mass News brought you your concerns back to the festival director. Andre Russo joins us now with the response from that person. Beth, within the last 24 hours, we've received complaints from viewers around New England about the various food festivals and balloon fairs put on by VAP events, including one from a venue who hosted them in New Hampshire last year. And we were also led to believe, like, for instance, there was going to be balloons there um, all day. Tom Sapienza is the operations director of the Hampshire Dome in New Hampshire. Over video chat, he tells Western Mass News that his venue has spent the last year trying to recover their reputation after hosting the VAP event Northeast Balloon Festival last year. What happened the first day was all the balloons took off early in the morning and then they don't come back till late in the day. Many, but not all, on social media claim they miss the balloons too, painting an unequal picture of the experience depending on what time people arrived. Our schedule is displayed on both our Facebook event and on our website. The festival director who's bringing a similar event to Northampton next week says they're making things more clear on their marketing. She says that they're planning activities to do in between balloon launches and in case weather prevents the tethered balloon activities from happening. Amusement rides, the petting zoo, and a lot of the other activities that we have planned are new because that is something that we again learned from last year is that, you know, during the day between, you know, 10 a.m. and 4 p.m., it's not typically in favor for balloons to fly. Another viewer contacted us about overcrowding at a VAP barbecue event held last month in Connecticut. We received a copy of the email that was sent out to ticket holders saying, quote, Although we did advise our guests before the event that there could be long lines, we were not expecting the lines to be quite as bad as they were during certain portions of the event. It's similar to going to Six Flags on the weekend and expecting there to be no lines. The ticket holder email explained that timing and inviting more vendors will fix that problem for the next barbecue event. But it calls reports of them running out of food a misconception. One or two food vendors running out really is just something that can happen. It doesn't seem as though you guys have held one event at the same place mm -hmm. a second time. We were consistently communicating about any issues that arose, whether it had to do with trash or parking. So we're looking to always provide solutions to the issues that we hear about from guests because we really just want the guests to be happy. Right now, Parslow says she's expecting 30,000 people to come to the Northampton Balloon Festival. We have reached out to Nor Northampton safety officials to see how they plan to accommodate that much traffic coming into the city. They did not get back to us in time for this broadcast. Reporting live in studio, Audrey Russo for Western Mass News.